I would like to focus on matters which I consider to be very important to the people of the region, and particularly of the sub-region. It was agreed upon by the Prime Minister of Trinidad and Tobago in the presence of former Finance Minister Winston Dukaran, who is now the Foreign Minister, that the government of Trinidad and Tobago would keep its agreement with us, which we had made at a side meeting of CARICOM in, at, at CARICOM in March in Suriname, that Trinidad and Tobago would contribute 100 million US dollars towards, as their contribution towards the settlement of the British American Insurance Company issue. As you are aware, we have been at this problem for three years. And in a very focused way, we have been addressing it bit by bit. Over the last two weeks, we have come to two important conclusions. The first one is a sales purchase agreement with Sajiko on the which was signed by me on behalf of the Eastern Caribbean Currency Union governments, signed that in St. Kitts um, two weeks, Fridays ago. In relation to the traditional life policy, which as I've emphasized, include group pensions, the the whole life, the endowment, the universal life policies, the term life, and the home service life. The Eastern Caribbean Currency Union governments is capitalizing the traditional life portfolio to the tune of 38 million US dollars to restore all the values. And over the next three to six months, pending the approvals by the court upon application by the judicial managers, because as you know, we had had a judicial management established by the court throughout the subregion to address the British American Insurance Company issues. So we have to get that those approvals. I see no problems there. And also for the regulators to give the approvals to Sajiko. Again, I don't foresee any problems, but it's a process which has to be gone through for juridical purposes. Um, and we anticipate, certainly by month four, we should have all of that wrapped up in relation to the sale purchase agreement and all the approvals, all the regulatory work, everything done. 17,500 policyholders would benefit from that agreement to sell the traditional life to Sajiko. A remaining problematic issue has been and is the annuitants, those with the flexible premiums, 
what you call broadly all the annuitants, people who had invested their money, not just in traditional life policy, but in investment policies. And we had a, some ups and downs with this because having gotten Trinidad and Tobago in March to, f to agree to $100 million, then there was some slippage. And I reported on that slippage, slippage in the House. And I'd given the indication that there was some uncertainty. We were able to pull it together. And they have agreed that they will stick to the agreement with us. They reconfirm the agreement of 100 million US dollars. Now, they have indicated the Minister of, former Minister of Finance, Dukaran, the presence of the Prime Minister of Trinidad and Tobago, indicated that immediately they will transfer 36 million US dollars to the central bank. And almost immediately, again, $40 million, which is a loan which is being taken from the Caribbean Development Bank. And then the other $24 million, which we expect to come from the CARICOM Petroleum Facility. Now, this is a major breakthrough, major confirmation. So they have been having good news for the policyholders over the last couple of weeks. This has been a long journey. This has been a lot, a lot of work. The, I've been informed already in my capacity as chairman of the Prime Ministerial Subcommittee on Insurance in the Eastern Caribbean Currency Union. I informed the chairman of the, the co-advisory committee Mr. Timothy Antoine, about this matter so that we can get the resources transformed, transferred quickly to the central bank, our central bank in St. Kitts. should point out the agreement has not yet been signed. The agreement which I drafted and sent for the Prime Minister of Trinidad and Tobago, because it has some other things in it. Like, for instance, I want information on, on, on certain things in order for us to do other things. Um, as you are aware, the government of St. Vincent and the Grenadines, that we have, through the regulator here, the insurance regulator, the supervisor of insurance, who is the Director General of Finance and Planning, and upon the advice of the Attorney, the Honorable Attorney General, he has sued a, a financial institution, a bank which operates here in St. Vincent and the Grenadines, for roughly $136 million in relation to a custodianship of assets. which were held out by them to be possessed by them and thus accepted by the insurance regulator as part of the statutory fund for, for BICO. And in the upshot, those monies were not available. So they we, 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 a case has been filed on this. We are confident about the outcome of this case, as, pre, as, as currently advised. And of course, we have put a, through the, 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 the judicial managers, have put, with our support, the, a series of persons, including Mr. Dupre, in court in Florida, 75 million US arising from a land transaction. Again, 
I've been advised that there's a strong case against these individuals in relation to the 75 million US dollars. Now, what is going to happen with this 100 million US? As currently advised, if we pay out all the annuitants the sum of $32,000 or thereabouts each that would come up in EC dollar terms to just over 100 million EC dollars when that is done we will take care of between 75 and 80 percent of the annuitants, in other words, the bulk of the annuitants, close to 80 percent of the annuitants are below $30,000. Of course, there are annuitants with millions of dollars. But we can take care of we can make a payment to everybody immediately when we get that money. And I'm hoping that we can move with sufficient expedition, have all the systems, everything to happen. I'll be, I'll be so overjoyed if I can get that money to people, especially the people who have their monies below $30,000. If I can get that money for them for Christmas. Um, then we have to set up an insurance fund in which we are going to determine how we apply the rest of those proceeds to the annuitants above the $30,000 threshold uh, mark how far can we go? And of course, what we are going to do in respect of institutions like credit unions. And then, of course, there are the pots to come from the lawsuit against the financial institution here and also in the US. Now, I don't know what time the length of time which we're going to have on these lawsuits. But I'm sure that everyone involved in these lawsuits would be very sensible as to how we all proceed. Because I would like to see that we put a line under this matter as soon as possible. I remind everyone about the amazing efforts which have been made by the governments of the sub-region. We have had to coordinate on this matter under the leadership of the Prime Minister of St. Vincent and the Grenadines, and it has been painstaking and detailed work. 